Hey guys, I'm currently in the bath right now, which is a little bit of a weird setting, but a lot of people do uh, videos in the bath. That sounded wrong. A lot of YouTubers, you know, whatever, they film in the bath and usually it's like a funny video. But right now I, I tend to do a lot of my deep thinking in the bath. And today I was talking to a friend and uh, they are well aware that I have anxiety. They are well aware that I have depression and things that kind of weigh me down sometimes. And because of that, because they've been in my life for a while, they know how they should speak to me. But sometimes they don't speak to me in a certain way and uh, I get really upset. So I wanted to talk about something that you should say uh, when someone has anxiety especially the worst thing you can tell them is to just relax and settle down it's it comes across incredibly insensitive and really rude and uh, that's what this person tends to do even though I've told them countless amount of times please do not say that to me that just makes me feel worse or like how I am is such an inconvenience or a burden to you or something and uh, I don't think that's really right to to say that to someone in general I don't I don't really think that's that's the nicest thing uh, to do I'm not someone that is medicated for my anxiety I'm not someone that's medicated for my depression however my stomach medication actually does help a little bit with my anxiety which is kind of a bonus I didn't know that until I started reading about it but um you know, I think people just need to learn to be a little bit more aware of other other people's emotions, other people's feelings. I mean, I personally, if I was them, I wouldn't tell someone with anxiety to more or less just like get over it or stop being dramatic. I mean, that's another thing too. Don't don't tell people they're being over dramatic because what that actually is doing is it's showing that you don't want to listen to someone else's feelings. You don't want to listen to someone else's emotions. And the problem with that is it shows, it, it comes across as if you're really shallow and uh, cold hearted. And unless you're okay with that, uh, that's probably something you should work on. You know, listening and communication and whatnot are so important in any sort of relationship, whether it's friendship or uh, marriage or boyfriend, girlfriend, boyfriend, boyfriend, you know, whatever it is. Uh, it's so important. And um, I've just dealt with a lot of that lately with people dumbing down my anxiety or, or telling me just, you know, get over it. I, I wish I could. Um, however, I don't use my anxiety as an excuse for my behaviors, but it is, I'm not going to sit here and lie, it is something that sometimes weighs me down. And I think if people learn to be more supportive of other people and uh, open-minded, I think that could really uh, be beneficial in a lot of relationships and friendships and whatnot. Because I am someone that feels a lot all the time. And, uh, you know, it can be very stressful if I let it. And I'm trying to not let it be stressful and be annoying and be, you know, suffocating to an extent. And, uh, you know, I think I just wish I had more people that understood that. You know, like understood me in that way. Like, you know. Don't tell me to just relax because that's that's just going to make me not be relaxed. I mean, I was calm when this person told me to settle and relax. Um, and now it made me, like, agitated, you know? Like, you don't, you know what I mean? Just learn how to be more sensitive and listen to other people. I think, it, I think it's, a, it's a really good skill to have in a relationship so i hope you guys enjoyed that bath time wisdom with me um yeah
good good chat. <laughs> I love you guys. Please like, subscribe, and share with your buddies. I put out new videos every week. Sometimes more than once. Sometimes every other week. You know, but uh, I'm more in the mood now because I'm feeling better. That I feel like I can, you know, sit down and make videos and come up with ideas and be creative again. So, uh, I love you guys. Stay, stay awesome, you know. Bye.